cooking something. Huh? Cooking? Hey, you there! Help me! Water's getting hot! Ah! Ah! Shut it! I need that man. No! We went home and from mirrors. I figure it out. <laughs> Forget it. Just don't feel like negotiating. manage let's get out of here you all right never go in a sauna again long as I live other than that I think I'm fine you saved my life how can I thank you I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Hjalmar? Any idea where Hjalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village, Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. 
I'll go with you. Luckily, the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. you died what happened where did you go what's happened is that you should have listened to me when i told you not to take agnar but you don't listen to anyone no he did stole the hornwall horn put the whole crew at risk i followed him 
alone? You should have woken me. I'd have listened to you then. But instead? Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. You're rare to go. I'm telling you, plow an enormous horse on he is. Wonderful. I can't believe I finally got the bastard! Yeah. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! Cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Getting cold there. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Weeks. Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrate? Thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. All right. Guess he should stay in the cage then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrate. You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now!
Thanks, brother. I remember that. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. I knew we'd best him. Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Who else has put forth a claim? Blue Boy Lugos, surely. 
and Ortrig, Stan Rigger, and Ceres. Ceres? Me says? But she's. She sailed off to Speakerog. Alone. Alone? What on earth was she thinking? Set out to help Udelwick. Don't think she can do it? Oh, God, Ceres. Ah, Witcher. You wouldn't happen to be heading to Speaker Rogue by chance? Yeah, I plan to go there. Good. Thanks, Geralt. I hope we meet again. Farewell, Ancrate. Need our way, Drifter. It is an honor to do so. What's that? Gotta come back tomorrow. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockfar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. There's a gallant fella. Killing a giant. That soul's one. Jarl must have dreamt the knowledge. We'll be done in a moment. And then, a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Jarl. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udelric's old family home. Though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left, she had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. Remember in that storm crossing off bay? I like it where yesterday. Off gun fell overboard and near drowned. Triggering dove in the waves and saved us.
something seriously wrong here. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Kurt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Uderic's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Uderic. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Uderic and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Uderic. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Uderic to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Uderic to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Uderic had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Uderic's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we have to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelric alone. Not a bad idea. On condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea. Said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udelric? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. about so 
find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Krog met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Horridly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrek hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods.